When Apple released the 10th generation iPad, it was initially criticized for being an awkward product situated too closely to the iPad Air in both design and price. Despite no changes to its design, screen, A14 processor, USB-C port, cameras or colors, the iPad now starts at $350, down from $450. This price adjustment positions it as an entry-level device, distancing it from the iPad Air's price point and making it a compelling option. The 10th generation iPad has a 10.9 inch screen, matching the size of the iPad Air's display. The iPad's screen is high resolution and bright. One standout feature is its landscape camera orientation, ideal for video calls and multitasking, a feature that even the iPad Air only recently adopted. Apple also addressed one of the iPad's biggest initial drawbacks, compatibility with the first generation Apple Pencil, which required an awkward adapter for charging. The new Apple Pencil, with a built-in USB-C port, resolves this issue. The iPad also supports the Magic Keyboard Folio, a more affordable alternative to the iPad Air's Magic Keyboard, priced at $250. This accessory includes a kickstand and a full row of function keys, enhancing its utility and versatility. Although the iPad 10th generation lacks some features available on the more powerful M-series iPads, such as Stage Manager and access to console-level games, it remains a highly capable device for general use offering smooth performance for everyday tasks. The main limitation is its base storage of 64GB, with no middle tier option between 64GB and 256GB.